Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Najwa Nazril and my student ID is 20192021954. For this video, I will talk about ornamental fish tree and coral. This is the table of content for this video. The introduction of coral reef. Coral reef are spread over the shallow seas. Most of the animal species living in the world's ocean inhabit the areas with the coral reef. Coral reef are described as the tropical forest of the ocean. It provides shelter and spawning grounds to a wide range of ocean life. Living coral have many different colors, such as brown and purple. But this color is actually the color of microscopic single cell algae that living symbiotically inside the body of the coral. Coral reef protect coastline from storms and erosion. It also provides job for local communities and offer opportunities for recreation. They are also as a source of food and new medicines. Over half a billion people depend on reef for food, income and protection. The effect of ornamental fishery on coral reef. First is the pollution. It may causes by the coastal development such as deforestation and sea waste treatment plant operation. This runoff may contain sediments, nutrient, chemical, insecticides, oil and debris. The increased nutrient level and rapid growth of algae. Other than that, the leaking fuels, coating and other chemical will causes the fertilization eggs and sperm to damage. This will vulnerable the coral to other type of disturbances. Next is, the coral reef also were destroyed and the most of the species fish and seahorse were taken for collection of aquarium and jewelry tree. Careless or untrained divers also will trample the fragile coral, such as sitting, standing or touching the coral reef. Fishing techniques such as heavy explosion will startle the fish and destroy the coral reef. Next is deep water trolling such as dragging and fishing net along the sea bottom and mural emanating will cause wave disturbance. Live coral and will entangle in nets torn away from their base. Anchor drop from vessel fishing also will break and destroy the coral colonies. Lastly is the increased greenhouse gas from the burning of fuel, fossil fuels for heat and energy. It will cause the ocean temperatures to rise and contribute to sea level rise. These changes lead to more coral bleaching. Six ways to protect the world remaining coral. First is practice safe and responsible diving and snorkeling. Avoid touching reef or anchoring using the boat on the reef. Look for sandy bottom or use mooring if available. Second is minimize the use of fertilizers since the chemical will flow into the water system, pollute, pollute the ocean and harm to coral reef and other sea life. Next is plant a tree. This will reduce the runoff into the ocean, also contribute to reversing the global warming of our planet and the rising temperatures of our oceans. Other than that, use environmentally friendly modes of transportation. Instead of driving a car, try to walk or use public transport. Choose a fuel efficient vehicle like a hybrid or electric car. This can help reduce the amount of greenhouse gas that are emitted into the atmosphere. Moreover, we can gain more knowledge of coral reef. Learn more about coral reef, their remarkable biodiversity and the special role they, they play as messengers for the, for the health of our ocean and our world. Lastly, take a reef-friendly approach to sun protection. Some ingredients in sunscreen can be harmful or even kill the corals. Better yet, cut down on sunscreen used by wearing a long sleeve t-shirt or rash guard to present sunburn. The conclusion is, coral reef is very important for ecosystem for underwater life. They protect coastal areas by reducing the big wave from hitting the coast. They help protect areas such as mangrove forests and seagrass beds that act as nurseries for marine animals as well as human coastal populations. Coral reef have an estimated global value of 6 trillion each year, due in part to their contribution to fishing and tourism industries and the coastal protection they provide. Extracts from animals and plants living on reef have been used to development treatment for asthma, cancer and heart disease. That is why we have to care and preserve the coral reef for next generation. Thank you for spending your time for watching this video presentation and see you again.